Welcome to AWS OpsWorks. This tutorial will show you how to get started with the OpsWorks application management platform. In this video, we'll explore a few basic OpsWorks concepts, create a stack, add a PHP layer, add instances to the layer, create a load balancer layer, and deploy a PHP app. OpsWorks is an application management platform that provides an integrated experience for managing the complete application lifecycle. To use OpsWorks, you create a stack, which represents the compute infrastructure and applications that you want to manage together. Next, you add one or more layers. Layers define how to set up and configure a set of instances and related resources. OpsWorks provides built-in layers like Rails application server, MySQL database server, and others. After you've created a layer, you add one or more Amazon EC2 instances to that layer. You decide how to scale, either manually with 24-7 instances or automatically with load-based or time-based instances. Finally, you deploy your app to specific instances and customize the deployment with Chef recipes. Okay, let's see OpsWorks in action. First, we'll create a stack. We'll enter a name for the stack and select stack-wide defaults such as operating system and availability zone. We'll choose an SSH key and leave the rest of the settings at default. Now that we've created the stack, we'll model the application with layers. In this tutorial, our application consists of a load balancer and a PHP app server. We'll start by creating the PHP app server layer. We'll need to select a layer type. In this case, we'll select PHP app server. We can customize the layer, adding volumes, additional security groups, elastic IP addresses, and other resources. We can also add Chef recipes to automate everything the open source Chef framework can do, such as creating directories and configuring databases. You can see that this layer includes built-in recipes for configuring PHP and Apache so that OpsWorks can take care of installing and configuring the PHP app server, but we won't add any customization. All right. Let's create some instances. We'll create two in different availability zones for added reliability. By default, these are 24-7 instances, meaning that we can start and stop them anytime. OpsWorks also supports auto-scaling instances that scale by load or time. For this tutorial, we won't actually create any load or time-based instances. We also need to create the load balancer layer. The load balancer will use HAProxy to route traffic between our PHP app servers. You don't need to perform any additional configuration. The built-in chef recipes tell HAProxy when new app server instances are started and when app server instances are stopped, so that traffic is seamlessly routed among the instances. Let's create the load balancer instance and start it. At this point, it may take a few minutes for our instances to complete the startup process. With the instances launched, we'll tell OpsWorks how to get our app. Each layer can have one or more apps. In this case, we have a single app that we're going to deploy to our PHP layer. Let's give it a name. After we name the app, we need to tell OpsWorks how to get it. OpsWorks supports a number of repository options. Our app is stored on GitHub. We'll copy the repository URL and paste it into the box. We could also set a specific branch if we wanted to. Our repo is public, so we don't need to add any SSH key. All right, let's add the app. And let's deploy it. A deployment pulls the app code onto the app servers and performs any config tasks specified in our Chef recipes. You can deploy to all of your instances or, at the advanced page, selectively deploy to specific instances. We'll deploy to all of them.
And now that the deployment is complete, let's connect to our app. We'll hit the app using the load balancer IP. Great, it looks like our app was successfully deployed. This is a simple example of how to get started with AWS OpsWorks. It's easy to extend your app by adding more layers like a monitoring server or database or customizing your layers using Chef recipes. For more information on OpsWorks, see our product detail page. For more on using OpsWorks, check out the Getting Started Guide at our documentation page. Thanks for watching this tutorial.